What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel where anything and everything is done outdoors. I don't know if y'all can see River right here and Pachamama in the back. You asked and you'll get it. We're doing one last adventure, one last camping adventure of 2022. We're just, I, I, I wanted to do something adventurous today. I thought about going hiking, thought about going to a wildlife refuge. I thought, you know what? I just need to go camping. I can't stay in the after work tomorrow, so we'll be out super early. But I was craving to go camping. So we're gonna do one last camping. Tonight's low is 40 degrees. It's like 45 right now. So it's gonna be a cold camp tonight. So thank y'all so much for tuning in. I'll see y'all at the campsite. All right, y'all, we are here. Let me give y'all a tour of the kids' side for the night. What you think? Believe River approves. But uh, I've had my eyes on this site for a while in my state park. I mean, this is the view. And there's a bathhouse, so not too far of a walk. Kind of close to the neighbors if they show up, but pretty peaceful, y'all. All right, y'all, just like that, Pachamama is set up. Uh, for those that are new to the channel, this is a 2004 A-liner. Her name is Pachamama. The sticker's on the back, and that's what the original owner decided to name her. Figured I'd give y'all a tour of the inside, and just to show y'all, it is actually level. I'll show y'all once I shut the door. Show y'all the inside. This is our view for the night, and over here, the woods, not too bad. It has a couch that converts into a bed. It has a fridge. I don't really use that. I always use my Yeti cooler, which I absolutely love. It's got a sink and I have not, it does work. Um, I'm not hooking it up or anything or using it yet because it is getting extremely cold in the next few days and I want to make sure that's completely empty. Queen size bed, it's got lights here, here. It's got a little fan that works right there. So yeah, this is home for the night. And honestly, this might be one of my new favorite campsites at this place. So oh, this is a local state park right down the road, probably. 20 minutes, 23 minutes for a drive. The last thing I always do when setting up is plugging the power to get the heater going. So we're gonna do that and River has been graciously patient with me in the car. So it's time to uh, hook up the power, take it for a walk and I'll show y'all around this place. It's really cool. Y'all stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in. So we are kinda, there's like what I would call the main section where we're at, it's kind of like more private less crowded but we're kind of walking around and i'll show you all the main area keep wearing her out all right so y'all see and realize why i say it's the main part because it's a lot of campers tents kudos to tent people i have done that in the past just not a fan of it anymore but this is the main part of the area. Pretty crowded and packed. Where we're at secluded and nice. All right, y'all, so this is the campground beach. Here's some ducks. I don't know if y'all can see. She sees them. Uh, she would love to get a hold of them. She is not a duck dog. That would have been a cool picture. But yeah, y'all, this is one of my favorite places out here. Get, just get to the pier and chill out and enjoy the evening. 
Alright y'all, so we are back here at the campsite, uh, off camera, I grabbed some sticks and I got my wood, so, uh, River is, River, where are you? Back over here on the straight line, she's enjoying herself, I have a B.O. in here for her, when, uh, I get this thing going, so, we're gonna build us a fire and enjoy it, because it is cold, and we're just gonna enjoy it. So y'all just sitting here thinking of 2023 goals and definitely adventure more, uh, camp more. Past two years just feel like they've drug on and slow with, you know, COVID and just a lot of other life things going on. But some have been bad, some have been good though. But, uh, yeah, so next year's plans, adventure more, grow the channel more. If y'all have enjoyed this so far, please subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it if you'll want to follow along with the 2023 ventures. It is getting close to five. I'm getting hungry. As I was sitting by the fire, I didn't realize how hungry I was. Uh, it's time to cook our special dinner tonight. I'm excited. So we'll get back, feed her, eat and chill out the rest of the evening, watch a movie. Y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all, so for the rest of the night, we're just gonna be chilling out in here. Uh, I'm looking forward to chilling out in here tonight, uh, getting the heater on and just watching. I probably will watch the news because we are getting some very cold air coming our way. Uh, literally, they described it earlier today. Somebody described it as uh, getting um, frostbite in 30 minutes, so. I don't know if you ever see that, but you could literally see my breath in here, but you won't be able to see it long once I get the heater going. Anyways, let's start cooking because I am starving. It's time to get cooking. Anyways, so for tonight's meal, we have the usual clam chowder. However, I have always wanted to do like a Panera bread style type deal where you put this thing where you put it in the actual bread bowl um and also to subscribers who have been following this for a while i finally got me some plates uh in a bowl it's like a whole set well it's not the bowl but it's two plates two forks two spoons and a knife so really cool that i actually I didn't realize that i had two plates in there but anyways uh let's get this cooking and to figure out how to make this work i am pumped y'all see y'all i have never done this i guess what i'm gonna do just kind of use my knife and like cut this this way and this way and hope that it works we'll find out here goes nothing y'all to get a work river oh my gosh it is working <laughs> I can't believe it A little bit messy. Oh my gosh. Woo! It's gonna be good. All right, y'all, I'm gonna say hands down, this is probably the best meal I have ever cooked out of this camper. Not the best meal I've ever cooked, best meal out of this camper. Let's give it a taste. All right, y'all time. I mean, I know the soup is good. Solid 10 out of 10. Oh my gosh. Do I eat the bread bowl or do I not? This will forever change my cooking of soups. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna sit here, enjoy this meal, get back to y'all when I'm done. Oh my gosh. Hey, what do, you, what do you think? Are you looking forward to going home tomorrow? Did you enjoy the camping trip? Huh? Did you enjoy this? There comes a certain point in time when River is get the crap out of my face mode and that is now as y'all can tell. So we're gonna get bed, chill out, 
Again, I got a movie downloaded. I'll tell you what I'm watching, but it's time to get bed. Just chill out the rest of the evening, because I deserve it. All right, y'all, so we are in bed. She likes bed. Uh, I downloaded it a while back, but never watched it. Good night, Opie. Oppie. So, but that's it. I actually brought the thermometer inside. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it is 66 degrees, and I'm pretty sure that it's still rising. So, outside is 45, and here is 66. So, we are feeling very nice and cozy. And I have a weighted blanket as well, too, uh, and a little blanket for River. She gets cold, but she's of course has fur and does not get cold. Anyways. Uh, I think we're to call it tonight, because Rivers wonder why I'm still talking. I will see y'all in the morning. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I hope y'all have enjoyed it so far. Good night. Hey. Did you sleep good? Mm hmm? So just reading the instructions on the breakfast deal, it says open package here at night, remove, discard, oxygen absorber, glad I read that, carefully add one, more than fourth cup of blooming water, carefully close zipper, stir, after five minutes re-seal again, let it stay for an additional four minutes. Ten minutes this thing will be ready. We got the coffee going as well too. So you know, just kind of guessing what what fourth cup is, since I don't really have a measure. All right, y'all, maple and brown coffee. I am really excited about this. I taste maple more than bacon, but still good. But anyways, that uh, breakfast skillet is almost done. Um, and then once we eat breakfast, we'll pretty much take down. She's wanting to go on a WLK, but it is drizzling a little bit. Hopefully when I get home, her home, we can run the ball maybe. So we might do that, but I'm gonna finish this coffee, enjoy it, and then get that breakfast skillet that I'm looking forward to in a minute. All right, again, y'all, so this is the breakfast skillet. And that looks actually pretty tasty. I may have added a tad too much water, but let's give this thing a try. So as I was saying, y'all, we got some cold weather coming light. Like they're talking frostbite in like 30 minutes or less. So, I decided not to bring a rain jacket, which is kind of a bummer. But, this takes down in less than a minute, and I think I could do it without getting wet. Fingers crossed. Alright, I'm going to finish this, finish my coffee, close it out. Y'all stay tuned, hope you all have enjoyed this adventure so far. Well, y'all, I cannot finish that. I don't, I'm not a heavy, like, while I do love breakfast, I'm not a heavy breakfast eater. Ooh, excuse me. But that was, uh, that was good. That is a life changer on quick air nights like this. Anyways, I want to thank the good Lord for each and every one of you watching this video. Uh, if you have not already, give this a thumbs up and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. So, this will be the last adventure of 20. 20 uh and i'm not doing any for christmas week so merry christmas i hope you all stay warm with this arctic blast coming through again we're supposed to see like nine degrees on christmas day here in alabama and that is rare uh so not looking forward to that but i just plan on hunkering down and doing absolutely nothing anywho uh so yeah the next adventure we are doing a two night stay at wayne creek state park which is about an hour away 
uh, from where this place is. So this place is literally only 20 minutes, so same distance. Anyways, we are going to go ahead and take down. I'm going to go ahead and put her up and get my last cup of coffee for the river of the road. I hope y'all have enjoyed this week's adventure. I will see y'all on the next go round. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, guys. See you next year. Hey, do you want to tell everyone Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year?